Hello again, Seth here from macOS 10 screencastcom In this review I'd like to show you Yep. Yep is a PDF or document management application which is coming from Ironic Software. You can go to ironicsoftware.com slash yep slash index.html where you can download this piece of software. You can use it as a demo version if you'd like or buy it as usual together with the other application which is called Leap. The both applications cost only 10 bucks more than separate. You can call YEP already by clicking on the right overlay on the screen, which brings YEP to the foreground. YEP, as I said, is a PDF or document management application you see here. I have created a bunch of documents which I scanned in with the help of YEP. And you can click on a document and you see on the right side a little preview of the document. You see how it is called, don't care about the letters here. This is actually the German language. I hope you don't mind. Down here we have tags. These tags are being written to the file by using a technology called OpenMeta. This is an open source technology which is able to assign tags or in creation, you know, projects. You can uh, rate a file if you want just by the use of OpenMeta and YEP has built in all this technology into the application. You can set name for your document in this text field, uh, creation date, and as I said before, you know, here is the location or you can even add a description to this document. As I said before, I used YEP to scan in my documents. This is done very easily. Just click on the scan your document. From here, you see here my Canon MP510 flatbed scanner is being recognized by YEP. I now just scan my page and while this page is being scanned, I'll tell you a little more about the application. hope the scanner is not too loud. You see on the right side here we have now some input fields where we can enter tags, and the file name and the creation date and the description again. This is similar to the already known uh, text fields we were seeing previously. Let's say I want to enter some text for this document and just hit a few keystrokes. So this is the German phrase for certificate, uh, school certificate. This is my school certificate for the 12th class and it's from 1999. Typically, I just like to assign the creation date of uh, to my scanned in PDF, and this document was being created in 1999, and it was ongoing in 2000. So I enter here Zeugnis and 1999 and 2000. Now we could go straight forward, but the really one really cool thing about Yep is, and I open um, open my um, scanner, which a little loud I suppose and I insert the next page because in Germany we get two certificates per school year uh, one in the middle of the year and one at the end to finally allow us to step up one grade in school. To I'd like to show you one thing when I press scan page while the page is being scanned I can make adjustments to my document I can let's say assign a name for my PDF and when I hit return the page now has this name. I can set a creation it while this document is being scanned and once it's complete I just could click create PDF to actually create a PDF file from the scanned in pages. We can preview our PDF by going forward and backward and let me move this we know a little up so we can have a closer look at the PDF. Here you see on the bottom left we have a few tools available. We can just rotate the page clockwise. We can crop the page and this one is really great because it allows us to straighten the PDF. You see that probably these lines are not completely in the line so we just tilt the page little grades left and click apply to actually apply this change to the PDF file. We can set a crop if you'd like to. 
just select the area you want to keep then click apply again and the area is being cropped you can also make adjustments to regarding the contrast which is not very useful in this case so I'd like to cancel this one as well okay we have now created our very first PDF document we have assigned tags and then we can just click create PDF you see a new PDF document is being created and it's now inside of yep we can take a closer look at this PDF page uh, either by going to the page and then hit the spacebar which actually brings up quick look or which is pretty cool you can click the loop symbol here or hold down the alt key which brings up a preview of this PDF and you see here my grades were really really bad in this grade so let's move on with the screencast so okay you see this is really 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 easy and it's very easy to have a closer look or a preview of your scanning pages you can set how this preview should look like in the preferences just go on oops the loop symbol here here you set the trigger key which is usually the option key you'd like to magnify the area around the mouse and the loop window size should be large or small which affects the preview the next thing I'd like to show you in the preferences is, is this managed tab here here we can set the document which should be marked as tagged or marked as managed from within yep we can set here a location which should be automatically scanned for new documents and if there are new documents are found they are marked as managed you see that I have put my um, documents inside users archive office file documents underscore file automatically I typically use the underscore character in front of a folder name because this way that folder keeps staying on top of this folder and this is just you know much easier for me to go inside my documents and find the things I'm actually looking for normally yep tries to use a folder which is based in the documents folder to file the documents and save newly created PDF files. In my case, I don't like to use the documents folder because of just one reason. So many applications are messing around with this documents folder. And for me, it's just not a good idea to keep all my files inside the folder because this folder is already messed up by so many applications that I just decided one day I create another folder, which in my case is called archive and there I keep all my documents in. It's just another name and I used one little trick to tell Yep it is actually still inside the documents folder. You can see that I, when I go to the documents folder here I have default documents folder and when I click it from within launch bar I will be taken straight to uh, my archive folder which is in office and then the file documents but when I go to my home folder again and we have a look inside my documents you see here this file documents folder has a little arrow on the lower left corner and this is actually just an alias you can create new aliases by clicking on a folder and hold down the command and the option key which creates new aliases from folders or objects in the finder just close yep before doing this go um, or move the file documents folder where I really like it to have then create an alias back in the documents folder open up yep again and it thinks it's still in the documents folder but indeed it isn't this is just one trick for yep because I don't like any dirty hacks or you know weird things all the tags which were created with the scan your document function can be found on the left hand side you see that all documents have a year number assigned to them so when I click the 1991 button all documents which have the 1991 tag assigned